lot of videos have been posted in uh, the last 24 hours by me. Uh, but I wanted to share something else with y'all today, and it's regarding leads, buying leads, lead generation, um, all that kind of stuff, mailers, uh, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, promoted posts on YouTube, promoted posts on LinkedIn. I'm going to show y'all a trick that I'm only going to show you today. I hope that you watch it, but it goes like this, right there. A lot of people go like this. There's a book called The Power of Who. A buddy of mine named Bob Bodine wrote it. And The Power of Who, I'm going to sum it up for you, even though you should all read it and, um, and, and follow the principles. But The Power of Who states simply this. You already know the five most important people that you need to know to elevate your career to the heights that you deserve. I like to go and say I know the most, the 10 most important people, and then I want to grow from there and from there. I realize the awkwardness and the potential discomfort that comes with reaching out to people that you know, asking them for help. But I also know the awkwardness of having my friends reach out to me and say, oh my gosh, I had no idea you were a realtor, right? Which that feeling is way worse than the feeling of being like, oh gosh, I have to go. It's like, you got to do it. And my thought with buying leads, buying leads is great. Buying leads definitely could lead to potential opportunity. But I think if you buy leads, the mindset needs to be that you are playing with the house's money. Let me interpret that for you all that have not been to a casino. And if you haven't been to a casino other than Colin Monaco because you're too young to go, if you haven't been to one, good for you. Playing with the house's money means that you're going to go play hand at blackjack. You put $10 down. Let's say you hit blackjack. You walk away with a lot more money, $21 or whatever it is, $23. The money that you make is the house's money that's just kind of fun money. That's the money you go and make stupid bets with where you bet $23 in two rounds or whatever it is. That to me is what buying a lead should be. I think for the time being, what you all should be focusing on is your core group of people and you need to grow from there. And this, this doesn't matter if you're in the real estate for two hours, two months, two years, two decades, whatever it is, but the people that want to support you, you know who they are. But there is something really weird psychologically about reaching out to those people and saying, hey, it's Rogers, I want your help. What do you mean? Are you okay? I'm fine. But I'm in real, I know you're in real estate. I want you to help me. Why? Right? I thought you were so busy posting on social media all these high tech. No, I, I always need help. So my encouragement to you all is a little follow from yesterday about getting over it. But really realize the people that care about you, they really actually care about you. And they respect you. And they follow your journey. And they want to see you be even more successful than you already are. So count on one hand, your five most important and your most influential friends. And hopefully it goes to two hands, maybe it goes to a foot, another foot, and all of a sudden you got 20 people. Write them a note and just say, hey, thank you so much for being a part of my life. Thank you so much for helping me build my career so far. And remember, I'm ready for your next referral. And when they refer it to you, tell them thank you again. And all of a sudden, you're busy and all y'all that are hitting that panic button right now starting to freak out sorry I got a dog at my feet starting to freak out about not having your plate full go make it full and all of a sudden you're busy and you're successful and all of a sudden you realize I didn't even spend money on these leads but you kind of did because over the course of time you probably bought them dinner you probably bought them a drink other than Colin Monaco who's too young to drink um, but you probably invested in them and that's okay your investments deserve to be paid off. So as far as leads are concerned, guys, buy them and gals. Buy them if you have the house's money to play with them. But realize that you don't need to do that to have a successful career. It all starts with the people that you already have on your phone. And it starts with you making a decision to pick up the phone, make the first awkward phone, awkward phone call, Matt Harris, if you're still watching, that changed your entire career. And all of a sudden, it's gravy. So I hope this helps. Um, I miss you guys, obviously, because this is a lot of videos. I also miss um, being able to do these trainings and these talks in person, but time and a place. Cheers, buying leads, house is money, call your five, your 10, your 15, your 20, get busy, make them uh, feel appreciated, and don't stop.